All right, so we're going to learn how to use the Snap Together tool. What I want to do is I want to snap this bolt right here. Let me zoom in to these two bolts. I want to snap this bolt, specifically the bottom face of this bolt, to the surface of this plagiophaly corrective helmet that we have designed for this baby's head. And I want to put the bolts on the surface of the hard shell of the helmet. Let me hide the padding so you guys can see what I'm referring to. I'm going to turn on the wireframe on shaded, which is this icon right here. Now I want to put my bolts on these faces right here. And then what I'm going to do later on is create some sort of a latch based on my references. So we're going to be using the snap together tool and I have these two bolts because I want you to notice what happens when we use this tool. The snap together tool takes in consideration the direction of the normals of the object. We do have an entire video on what normals are, but I will give you a quick explanation. If I select both of these objects and let me hit three so you can see the smooth preview and then I go to display, polygons, face normals you will see this little green hairs coming out out of the center of every single one of these faces. Those are the normals. The normals are telling me that there are two sides to a polygon face, the one facing out and the one on the inside. So for example, if I create a polygon plane, notice what happens when I bring in the normals. I'm going to go to display again, polygons, face normals, and there you have the four wires. Now, if I flip this object, let me tumble the camera, you will notice that the bottom, the opposite side of these faces are black. That is because in all 3D programs, every polygon has one good side where the textures go and then the opposite side of the face where the textures will not be applied. So this is the basics of a face normal. Now let's go back to the bolts. And now when I select these two bolts right here, you can see that the normals are facing in the right direction, both in this bolt and in this bolt right here. But this bolt right here, the one with the encasing, notice that the normals are facing inside of the tube. So let's go ahead and learn how to use the snap together tool and I will show you how to fix issues like this. Now I wanna put this bolt on this surface right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my snap together tool and you can find this tool in the modify menu under the align section. And there you have it is the snap together tool. I'm going to click on the options and the very basic UI for this tool will allow us to either move and rotate the object. So when I select this bolt and I tell it to go over here, it will not only move, but it will rotate it so that the bottom of the bolt will lay flat with this surface, or I can select move objects only. This will move the bottom of the bolt, but it's gonna put it in the center of this surface right here without the rotation. I also have this snap to polygon face option, but I'm going to reset the tool and I'm going to work with the default settings. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my wireframe on shaded, which is this icon right here, because I want to show you where we want to select and where it's going to go. So I'm going to select this bolt first. I'm going to hit F so I can frame it. And I'm going to click on the tool. So modify, snap together. And I'm going to click on this vertex right here. As soon as I do that, notice that it's giving me this little blue arrow. That is the first step. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the face that I want to snap it to. So I'm going to zoom in right here. And I'm going to select this face right here. As soon as I do that, notice that I get a second arrow. This arrow right here is telling me where that bolt is going to land. If I zoom out, you will see this blue arrow pointing out and then this blue arrow pointing in. And this right here is the trajectory. As soon as I hit enter, that bolt will navigate to where that face was selected. So I'm going to select the bolt. I'm going to hit F and there you have it. The bolt moved to the polygon surface that we selected. Now I have both of these meshes on smooth preview. So if I select them and I hit one, you will see how this bolt right here landed on this face right here. 
Now for the second bolt, I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit F so we can frame it. You will notice that the normals are facing in the wrong direction. Now see what happens when I use the tool. And by the way, I've put this snap together tool in my custom shelf right here. And let me turn on the wireframe unshaded. If I click on the same place as the other bolt, notice the direction of this blue arrow. It is pointing inwards inside of the bolt and the bolt casing. The reason why, again, is because the snap together tool takes in consideration the direction of the normals. So I'm going to hit Q, deselect this, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to reverse the normals of this object right here so that my normals, instead of facing the right direction, they will be facing the opposite direction. And I'm going to use that to move the bolt to the surface and then I will reverse the normals one more time. So the way that we do this, I'm going to select the object. Let me get rid of the wireframe unshaded. And we're going to go to Mesh Display. And we want to go to Reverse. This will reverse the direction of the normals, like this. And your object looks like it's ghosted. All you have to do is deselect this object. Select it again. I'm going to bring back my face normals. Here's the shortcut. And notice how the normals now are facing the wrong direction. But when I use the tool, let me select the snap together tool. And then I say, I want this point right here to be snapped to the helmet. Notice how the blue arrow now is facing the right direction. This is what we want. So I'm going to go back to the area where I want to snap this bolt on top of. And we're going to put that bolt on this face right here. So I'm going to click on this face. There's our blue arrow. Notice that now it's telling us that the bottom of that bolt that's inside of that hole will be snapped to this face right here. Again, let me pull back so you can see the actual procedure. All I have to do now is hit enter. And I'm going to select the bolt. And I'm going to hit F so we can frame it. And as you can see, it moved correctly. This bolt with the casing is atop of that polygonal face that we selected. You can have things snap to faces, or you can have them snap to edges, or you can have them snap to vertices. So let me go back to object mode and let's fix this right here. I'm going to select this bolt. We're going to go to mesh display and I'm going to reverse the direction of my normals so that they work correctly. Deselect this and there you have it. Now, as soon as we move these objects onto the surfaces, you will notice that if I select this bolt and I hit W for the move tool, notice that the orientation of the object, it is the same as when it was back to its original position. That means that I can use my Y axis and I can push this bolt in and out. And I'm going to take advantage of this with this object right here. Because what I want to do, I want to push this object all the way in right here. And then what I'm going to do on another video is that I'm going to rework these faces right here in such a way that I can attach this bolt with its casing to the helmet's surface. So I can get a hole with a bolt inside of it. So this is pretty much how you use the snap together tool inside of Maya.